Welcome back, beautiful ladies. I'm thrilled to be here with a new healthy hair journey video for you guys. But first thing, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your notifications. Now, for the ones that follow me on Instagram, no, I've been testing out this new hair growth powder they call Shebe. Now, what is Shebe? Shebe is just an actual nickname for a finished powder product that consists of six ingredients. Powder product originates from a tribe in Chad Republic in North Central Africa. The majority of the married females use Shebe to help maintain proper hair care. This all natural powder is used to help condition, retain moisture for the driest hair, aiding to help keep the hair strong, protecting, making it less prone to breakage and hair shed. I've been using Shebe for the past two and a half weeks and I've already decreased my hair shed by 50% even after just one use. Now let me tell you, Shebe is not for everybody, but it is for me. To begin the traditional prep, all you will need is a bowl of Shebe powder, another bowl of an oil grease mixture, and then of course, water. In my bowl, I have about less than half a cup of Shebe powder and it smells so good. To begin my oil mixture, I'm using two of my favorite leave-ins. Now you can use a butter, you can use a moisturizer, a hair cream, whatever you want, whatever suits your needs, as long as the mixture is watery. I do not measure my mixture. I am just basically going off of how much I'm going to be needing for the amount of hair I have on my head. For my oil mixture, the main base is going to be coconut because coconut oil is one of my favorite oils and it's a high fatty oil. You can use whatever oil you prefer. This is for your hair type. Then I'm going in with a castor oil, vitamin E, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, blend. texture of the oil slash grease mixture should be very, very loose, almost watery. So this can easily be absorbed into your hair. If you are doing your mixture and the mixture is starting to separate, don't be alarmed, that does happen. It is mainly because the mixture that you are using has too much water in it. So you wanna use a base cream or a grease that has less water water but even if it does separate you still can use it i rotate back and forth between adding more oils and mixing once it's at a good consistency which it is right now i'm gonna go ahead and get my hair ready i am going in on three day old shebe hair you can see my hair is looking soft shiny and moist this left braid has already been refreshed. You can see the difference in length when it's newly applied to the hair. To begin, I strongly suggest that you wear old clothing and to work in a place that can easily well be clean because the stuff is very messy. I always lay two extra large garbage bags on the floor for an easy cleanup afterwards. I go in and unravel my braid and I always remove the excess shebby from my hair. Before you refresh, it's always good to remove just the old shebby so you can go ahead and start off good and new. Now, all the shebby will not come out, but it's just important to remove the excess that is not needed. For step one, you're going to dampen your hair with water. Your hair doesn't have to be soaking wet, just good enough so the product can be absorbed. Step two, apply a good amount of the oil mixture throughout your hair, making sure you detangle and smooth everything in. Step three, apply the shebe. Now it's very important to apply to the midsection all the way down to the ends. Shebe is not to touch your scalp because this can cause clogged pores.
Step four, you go in and repeat. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but I choose to do this step. Step five, you're going to braid the hair. Now, it's said to braid the hair tight, but you don't want to do it too tight. That will cause hair bumps and, of course, hair loss. Step six, you are to re-wet the hair with water. Step seven is optional and I choose to apply more shebe after I apply water. And then that's it. Step eight, you pin up your braids to protect your ends, of course, and you are to repeat the step every three to five days. For my routine, I choose to, I wash my hair on Friday, I apply my shebe, and then I refresh my hair on Monday, and then I refresh my hair again on Wednesday. I'll be doing this whole Shebe traditional routine until the end of August. I wanna see what this can do for me, but either way, this is definitely going to be a new ingredient added to my hair regimen. I will not always do this type of routine, but for now, this routine definitely fits with my schedule. This routine will not fit with everyone's schedule, but there are many ways you can incorporate Shebe into your regimen. I will be making more videos for the future for people who are not able to do the traditional way, but are looking for something more quick and still efficient. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Bye beauties.